Hi guys. Okay, we have now in the Master Woodsman series dealt with fire pretty much for most of it. There's going to be more. We're dealing with the next chapter of the Master Woodsman book and that's going to be shelter because to me the order of operation should be you should have a good understanding of fire before you ever go out. You should have a good understanding of shelter before you ever go out and start because we need a way of understanding of making ourselves comfortable. And most time people get in trouble it's because of lack of a fire, can't keep warm, can't light, can't whatever, lack of shelter, exposure to the elements. Now as you know in the, or the uh, rules of three, the rules of three are you cannot live three seconds without brain activity, can't live without thinking for three seconds. Three minutes of oxygen. You can hold your breath longer than that, but you need air around three minutes or less. Three hours of exposure. That's a biggie. That means that I can kill you in that parking lot out there in the right conditions. It's too hot or it's too cold. Three days without food, without water, excuse me, without water. You can go up to three days without water. You may not like it, and it depends on your conditions whether or not that becomes life-threatening or not. But three days is a rough rule of thumb. Three weeks without food. It takes a long time to actually starve to death. Oh, you're going to be hungry, but you won't starve to death. And then three months without hope. You're going to need a plan. And just getting by day by day, after three months, you got to have a rock-solid plan or the seasons are changing, and that's going to give you trouble. So, the rule of three. So, shelter, exposure, big thing. So next in the Master Woodsman series, we're going to deal with shelter. Now, shelter is a very complex topic, really. And so I'm having to break it down into different segments, okay? But the basic points of this class are going to be when you need shelter, and we'll go in-depth about that, of I'm in this situation, but due to these conditions, do I really need to take all the time to build a shelter, or can I do something else? Okay. Do I need shelter? And there's a way of analyzing that and coming to that conclusion. Okay. Two, quick shelters. These are things I can put together in just a matter of minutes to improve my comfort level. No, they may not be the best thing, but that first rule, what do I need? And so therefore the quick shelters will fall into that. Three, a debris shelter. Now this is what you see in most classic bushcraft channels about building some sort of shelter. I'm going to show you a very quick way to get ahead of the curve in just a couple of minutes on how to generate your shelter frame and etc. very quickly from what's available if you have that and we'll talk about that. Four, one step up from the debris shelter is debris hut. Now this is kind of more long term. This is where I'm not going anywhere for a while. I may be stuck here for days or weeks, and so therefore I'm going to start with a debris hut, but I'm going to quickly transition it into a, a debris shelter, but I'm going to trick, quickly transition it into a hut, expand, open up, and get myself more room, more improvements, so that I can do more in the long run to ensure my survival. So it's a step up, okay? Next, we're going to assume that we've got some gear with us, tarps how tarps can be used for shelters in many different configurations. And we're going to go into multiple configurations on how to utilize a tarp as a flying tarp, as a shelter, as a plow point, as a diamond, as a low shelter that we enclose, how to set it up in a certain way to get the maximum use from a fire and the minimum amount of gear, like a debris hut. A hammock. A lot of people don't think of hammock as a shelter. But hammock is in many ways because it gets you up off the ground. And in heat conditions, that right there can be a, a huge lifesaver of getting away from the bugs, the ants, and everything that's going to eat and just gnaw on you and give you just so much torment. So if I've got a hammock and a tarp of some kind, I've got a light year better shelter system that's easier and quicker to put up and easier for me to take down to move with. So that type of shelter system, mobile shelter. Number seven, a tent. Now this is 
what we talk about. Well, what kind of tent do you need? And we're going to talk about a lot of the modern tents with big internal mesh screen, and then they got a tarp going over. We're going to talk about some strengths and weaknesses of those designs, and how you need to understand why those designs are really good for certain things and just the wrong choice for certain things as well. And we're going to talk about that to give you a better educated way of purchasing a tent for down the line because I want this. Is it going to be for me personally or is it for me for a group? And that has to be reflected in your choice and what kind of seasons. And finally, part eight, we're going to talk about car and truck shelter. Now this is where you're out on a vehicle and you have become stranded, whatever. How you can utilize the vehicle to provide you more shelter than most obvious, you know. Uh, in heat, in cold. Ways to help waterproof and windproof a shelter and things you can do with it. Like, for example, just to give you a little thing, in extreme heat, being inside this, shell, this uh, vehicle is not a good idea during the day because it holds heat. As we've already just recently talked about in one of my videos about it's not insulated, so it heat exchanges very quickly. So this becomes an oven. You're far better to get underneath the vehicle and use the whole vehicle as a thermal shade than you are to sit in it in extreme heat. On the other side, if I'm stuck in extreme cold and I've got the north wind coming against this side, what are tips and tricks I can do to try to block the wind off of this to make this more survivable, more sustainable in the long run? And we're going to talk about that, you know. Plus the fact of, you know, apocalypse type world gone dog get out. What can I salvage from this to make a shelter? If I've got a basic tool kit, you know, like take that big old hood off the front and turn it into a lean-to, or salvage different parts and do different things, a vehicle can be turned into an actual shelter shelter with a little bit of work. But we'll touch on that at that time. But that's where the Master Woodsman series is going next. We're going to shelter. <clears throat> now, the Master Woodsman series should go live around the 15th or the 16th of February. That's the plan. This last time I was late because I created the video, got the video up, I started trying to load it on Sunday. It was supposed to go live on Sunday. And it just took forever because it was such a large video, hour and a half. So we're going to break this up into more direct components okay so definitely we're going to be talking about when you need and we're going to be talking about quick shelters like that'll be like part one debris and huts will be part two then we move into tarps hammocks tent and that in a part three so i figure three parts i can cover all of this with that third part probably be the longest part of it so what I'll do is, I may even in this, I may break it down into a shorter video than let's say an hour and a half and just hand you. So if it's going to be an hour and a half video, I make it, might break it down into three 30 minute videos for that first installment. And whenever I send you the link, I'll just send you all three links, one, two, three. So that's your installment. I just may break it up into smaller bite size, okay? We're going to give that a try and see if uploads become faster and I can be more on time. But, having said that, the price of the class for the Master Woodsman class on shelters is the same as always. It's going to be $10. It will be $10 for the first class, the middle class, and the last class. Each one is $10, total of $30. Um, so that will be February will be the first one. March will be the second one. April will be the third one. And it will be possibly done with the shelter series for a while again since I'm doing this to create a book I may revisit this at a later date to fluff in in which case I'll let you know but the master woodsman shelter series is next in line the percussion revolver series the 1858 will be going live on the 1st of February and so that's already well on, on way to go and I just lack fine lead it and it's ready to go up so with any chance, any luck it'll be dead on time this time thank you for your support guys and thank you for all your uh, questions comments and things like that it's been a real help to me 
and I hope that 2022 is going to be a better year for all of us. Please leave any questions or comments below, things you'd like me to, to uh, touch on later, and any points in this that you'd like me to add in. That, could you go more into such and such? I'll be happy to incorporate it at that time. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.